Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this performance of Newberry's Victorian Coronet Band. Uh, we are. A, is this on? Can you hear? We lost it. Okay, there we go. Um, we are a band um, from Maryland, but our membership actually comes from about seven different states. So if you've ever lived around there, you can see how that could easily be done. Uh, but we do have some uh, guests with the band from Nebraska, from Illinois, and, and all over. So we've collected some of the, the finest uh, players of antique instruments from around the country to play for you uh, this weekend. My name is Michael O'Connor. I am the artistic director of the band, and I play the B-flat baritone as well. Uh, please give a round of applause for our stage leader and conductor, Elisa Kohler. Elisa is a fine conductor. She conducts the Frederick, Maryland Symphony, and she also conducts ensembles at Goucher College there in Towson, Maryland. And we are just absolutely pleased to have her leading us here today. What do you see before uh, for you today? is what we try to recreate as a, around 1880 uh, either a town or professional band. Uh, some of the town bands were really fabulous, um, so uh, it could even be a town band. But we like to think of ourselves as a professional band because just about everybody here is a professional musician. Um, these bands uh, played in parks exactly like this, and we've set up uh, pretty much in the way a band would. We've opened up the center a little bit so you can see everything. But generally, a band like this would have just set up in a corner like this in a complete circle and just played, and, and you all would have wandered around or you might have danced if you liked the, the polka we were playing at that moment. Um, and we, we would have been your entertainment. So uh, if you feel like getting up and walking around and listening to the backside of the band, that's perfectly fine. That's very authentic of you.